What's up, Capricorn? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. So guys, it feels so good to be back. I had to take like a month off because I was just going absolutely insane. It got to the point where I'm just like, do I still love doing this? And yes, I do love doing this, but when things stress you out, you kind of have to take a step back. But Capricorn, Capricorns, I hope you guys had a good October, uh, not October. Oh yeah, October. We're in October, technically. I'm recording this in October, but yeah, I'm sorry I wasn't around, guys. I hope October was good for everybody. I hope November is going to be good. So let's see what's going on. Um, now, do keep in mind, guys, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Capricorn signs. The energy that I'm picking up on, it could be transferable. So it could be something that you're going through that I'm picking up on, or it could be somebody around you. So just keep that in mind. My nose is so itchy. I don't know why, because I had hair in my face. There we go. All right, guys. So let's jump into this. What can we expect for Capricorn? November 2019. What is going on for my Capricorns? The deck I'm about to use, guys, is the Golden Universal Tarot for anyone interested. All right, so the Four of Swords came out. Now, when the Four of Swords comes out um, in a reading, it's usually when you're in a place where you really have to put a lot of thought into something. Um, you know, how do I get past this situation? And it's like you you don't move out of it until it's like you, you set a, a solid plan for it, okay? So we'll keep that in mind. So we have your past. Present. And future okay so the energy that we have here is a magician this is a great energy to have because regardless of what's happening right now it shows that there's something that you're able to develop and something you're able to build on that comes just from you you don't need anything else or anyone else it's something you're able to do we have the temperance card as well so something that just in your soul it just feels very very good now we have the knight of wands in the reverse and the ace of cups in the reverse behind that so there could be something that you guys are kind of gravitating away from um, maybe it's a lover that can't be trusted maybe this is maybe how do I want to say this with the knight of wands in the reverse if this is not like a promiscuous person then this could be someone who really means well but they can't walk their talk okay they're kind of all over the place so that might be something that you're releasing, whether it's another person or whether it's bad habits you have within yourself and you know you have to let that go. So let's start with your past, guys. The first card that we have here is the Ace of Pentacles in the verse. So this is letting something go, okay? Not continuing forward with something. Let's see why this is showing up. We have the Four of Swords. And we have the seven of pentacles in the verse. So there's something that you just felt was a waste of time and effort. It was blocking blessings for you. And mentally, it could have been something that you're stuck on. Maybe it was someone from the past trying to come back in, something like that. But it's like you felt like it was just too unstable. And it's like you kind of just left it in the past, although it's something you could have been thinking about a lot. The next card that you guys have for the past is the judgment card in the verse. So when we see this card... Um, there's a lot of situations in life where we're constantly going to make a back and forth type of decision where we can break up with someone today, get back with them next week, or tell someone, you know, they're not our friend and get back, you know, being friends next week. But when you see this judgment card, it's more of like a final decision. So you're really deciding, okay, there's something that's just really a bad idea. So let's see what that, what, uh, what that was rather. Nine of swords, something that you're stuck in your head about, you're thinking a lot about it. And you have the two of wands in the reverse. So there's something that you were just anxious about where you're telling yourself, look, I, I feel lost being here. It's not a good idea for me to be here. Okay. And I'm realizing now that this could have been blocking blessings for me. My computer cuts me off sometimes. But yeah, there's something here that just wasn't worth the stress that it was going to bring. And I feel like it was something from the past trying to enter your life again. Okay. Just a lot of toxicity around that. The last card you guys have for the past, devil card. Okay, so with the devil card, you are around something that's toxic. This could this card is also for Capricorn, so we'll pull more cards and see what you know comes up with this as we clarify it. But this could be a toxic habit, this could be you know a toxic environment or a toxic person. Why is this devil card here? 
the high priestess. And you have the moon card in the verse. You guys are completely clear on what the problem is. And you guys fiercely protect yourself. So whatever it is that's trying to come in or whatever's trying to be around you, you guys aren't having it. Regardless of if it's heart, you know, heartbreaking or disappointing in any way. And because of that, something incredibly good comes in. Because you guys make the decision that's the right one for you. Okay? So it makes your life propel forward in a really, you know, awesome way. Now, in the present moment, Capricorn, the first card that you guys have is the Page of Wands. So this could be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius energy around you, or it could just be something that you're planning on doing, something that you're excited about, a new idea, a new project, maybe some sort of offer coming in. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Hierophant in the reverse. So you're turning your back on something that's unconventional and you're being very reserved towards that. It's not something you want to be involved in anymore. And great things come in, guys. You have peace of mind. You have peace of... Your, your soul has peace of mind. Okay? This is incredible. And there's something that you're able to celebrate here. So you're turning your back and there's a lot of expansion here. There's new opportunity here for you. You know what's not right for your life. You know what's unconventional. You know what needs to be let go of and you do. This is your central energy, guys. The Nine of Wands. So this is the next card for your present moment. The center card in this entire spread because I do it three for the past, three for the present, three for the future. This is what everything taps into. This is when a person has endured burden. A person has endured hardship. A person has endured just questioning whether or not they can make something happen. And this is a person saying, I don't want this burden anymore. So you drop whatever burden this is. We have the Seven of Swords. And we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is something that I feel like is on your end, guys, because this is your energy, but it could be, you know, anyone around you. But whatever is being dropped right now, there's just no genuine interest in it anymore. And I feel like you know, maybe there were secrets here, or maybe you just kind of want to quietly walk away from this and not necessarily explain, but I see you guys building in another way and just dropping something. So maybe that's what you're keeping secret, because I don't necessarily see you being in a position where there's nothing coming your way, even though you're having a difficult time moving away from, or you could be having a difficult time moving away from something. Um, there's still a lot coming in for you that's going to be great for you. Okay. But you guys are at the point where it's just like, I don't see something being successful. Okay. You have the Three of Cups. And you have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So something that was just very conflicting to you isn't successful. And it's like you're, you're celebrating the fact that it's not successful anymore. Or maybe this is something where there is more than one person involved here. Okay. But you know for a fact that something's over. And with the full card in the verse, you know it would have been a detriment to be going, you know, to continue going in that way. Now, when you have the world card here, not only does it indicate a chapter that's closing, but it promises a very solid new one coming in. So you guys have balance. You guys have extreme happiness. There's something very solid coming in for you guys, and your soul is so here for it. Okay. You guys are going towards good things from what I'm seeing here. All right. So the first card that you have for your future is the Ace of Wands. Something that you're very passionate about. Something that just fills your heart, you know, that you go towards. So let's clarify this Ace of Wands. Five of Wands in the reverse. And you have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. You have a passionate new start and no fighting. Again, you know where that mistake is. And that mistake may try to come back in and say, hey, what's up? You know, I haven't heard from you. It doesn't matter. I'm good. You don't need to hear from me. Okay. Okay. Next card that you guys have for the future is the King of uh, Cups. So with the King of Cups, this could be water, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And I'm sorry, guys, my phone like kept going off and the music was so loud. So I just had to throw that to the side. I promise you I'm here 100%. But yes, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio energy that you have here. Um, if it's not a person with that water energy, then it could just be you being very emotionally intact, being in a good place. Why is this King of Cups here? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. And you have the Eight of Swords. Okay? I feel like this could be in regards to, you know, what's trying to kind of creep back in when you're in a good place. 
either some someone or something is mentally stuck on you or maybe there's a degree of yourself that is stuck on that okay but i still see you guys in a place where you're not willing to move forward with this okay you still know it's a bad idea this full card in the verse won't you know leave the bottom of the deck all right the last card that you guys have here is the two of pentacles so with the two of pentacles trying to find balance in something you know trying to find the equilibrium in a situation why is this two of pentacles here tower card in the verse while you're doing this you're just trying to avoid catastrophe you don't want problems okay because you have something very good here so it's, you're trying to find that balance of how do avoid how do i avoid the bullshit that comes along with this and reap the benefits of what's coming with this Okay, because you guys feel like you're on top of the world, you're celebrating, there's something great that's here. And for some reason, there's someone that could be reserved with speaking the full truth with something that they're ending. But y'all are straight. I see you guys fiercely protecting something that makes you happy. Maybe new love for some of you. Okay, but there's something very strong coming in. With the Two of Cups here, it could be, um, you know, a job that you love that's coming in a project that you love a person that you love or will love okay someone's just being very careful about how they're going about this because they don't want anything from the past to fuck it up i'm here for it shit all right guys so let's get some advice cards let's see what's going on um in regards to guidance for november What advice can I give to my cappies? For November 2019. I cannot believe this year is almost over. Oh my goodness. Oh, Thanksgiving is coming. I'm so excited. All right. Four of Cups came out so that's when you're not accepting an offer or there's some sort of offer that's not being made okay we have the five of cups in the reverse six of cups in the reverse five of pentacles in the reverse yeah guys you know that something's a waste of time and effort but you are over it or you will be over it there's extreme happiness coming in there's something you got to remove yourself from and protect yourself at an extreme if you need to don't accept whatever's trying to pull you away from that any loss or sadness you had goes away. You're going to be good. You amicably or you, you know, you try your best to amicably put something in the past and you're, I don't see you suffering. Okay. And if you are suffering, then it's something that subsides rather quickly. Okay. I see you guys in a very good place because of you being strong enough to leave something behind. Why is this four of cups here? Full card in the verse. You know, something's just a bad idea. You're just not going to do it. Ace of pentacles in the verse. You let something go, but you're not sitting there drowning in your tears. You have the Queen of Swords in the verse. So you put something in, in the past. And not only do you put it in the past, but you put a very high wall up. You're saying, nope, not today. It's not going to happen. Five of Wands in the verse. No fighting, no arguing. I'm not doing that. Good job, Capricorn. That's how it all ends. Okay, I, I don't even want to say anything more. The reading couldn't have ended any better. Um, guys, I'm back to doing mini readings. Okay, so if you guys need a question or anything that's very short, it's all on my website. You can check it out. Link in the description. If you guys have Instagram, you can follow me, High Vibrations 44 And then on that, um, on that profile, you can get to my other profile, which is where I do my daily energies, High Vibrations Tarot. So I will be here if y'all need me. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being patient and allowing me to get my head back in the game. And yeah, I'll be back for more in the future. Take care, guys.